There is a Y Combinator backed company called Recall AI. They've just raised a $10 million Series A, and they're doing all of this to essentially help companies use the data that they gather from virtual meetings. This is something that's so interesting to me. I've thought about this a lot. Like, there's so many places where, where data and content is being created that's completely unused. You, you kind of call it like black box data, or I guess there's probably other technical terms for it, but like company meetings, internal meetings are a great example of this, right? You have a bunch of people from the company. They're coming up with company directive strategies, talking about what people are working on. There's like this video, there's audio, there's there's like text, content, screen share. There's like so much that goes into these meetings. And yet every Zoom call, every company stand up, it's like, done and disappears and it's, it's never used for anything. So this is an amazing training set for AI, in my opinion, an amazing data set that a lot of people should be using. And you probably, if you're a big company with a ton of these meetings, if you recorded them all, you could probably sell these all to OpenAI or other people for training. Also, I feel like if they're all employees, it makes it not super weird. Like, you know, when we train off of YouTube, for example, everyone gets like super kind of cagey and is like, okay, open AI, like, are you training your new Sora model off of YouTube? And they're like, oh, I don't know. We'll have to check on that. It's like, yeah, obviously they are. They just don't want to say it because Google's going to be mad about it or maybe the users will be mad about it. But if it's like with, if it's your own company recording company calls and training or selling that data, like, I think it's way less controversial because obviously all the people on that call are being paid by the company to be on that call. So you just put like a little employee terms. It's like, you know, whatever, whatever you say or create here, we can use for training AI. So I think that's like super uncontroversial. Everyone's being essentially compensated and then they can use this data. So all this to say, I think this is a really interesting new realm. And I don't know if Recall AI is doing everything that I've been envisioning in this, but they're doing some interesting things. They right now are essentially providing developer infrastructure for virtual meeting platforms. They just raised $10 million in a Series A. So I think they have about $12 million in funding total. So they right now have a unified API, API, which essentially allows access to raw data from platforms like Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and Zoom, right? So all of the platforms that any company would be using for their company internal calls, they have an API with access to raw data from all of those platforms, essentially enabling the creation of AI-powered apps um, like note takers and sales coaching bots, right? So you can imagine like if your whole sales team is using Google Meets and they're doing all the sales calls there, it can be training off of that. It can be collecting all that data from those sales calls and it can create sales coaching bots. It's like, hey, Jeff, like, you know, we recorded your last 10 sales calls. Here's like, this is the point where people typically dropped off. You could probably be focusing more on and more engaging hook or thinking about what's in it for the customer, or you could be, you know, try to ask more engaging questions, whatever, right? But like, obviously very, very valuable stuff. Um, right now, the new funding that they just raised is gonna be used for team expansion and also to help develop more data source integrations. Um, right now they're planning to increase their staff. I think they're, they're like, we're gonna increase from nine to 16. I mean. It's still relatively small numbers, right? This is a pretty small company. The co-founders are David Gu and Amanda Zhu, and they actually launched this back in 2022. And they did this essentially to address, there's a huge rise obviously in remote work, and also there's a lot of generative AI. And they previously worked on a transcription tool for video conferences. This was kind of like, I think that the cool thing a while back was all of these video transcription stuff. It was like, we'll transcribe your call. Now that's like just built into like everything has like video transcription. Uh, using AI. So I think that that tool probably was less interesting, less competitive, and this is kind of their pivot or what they focused on next. This is what the Goo specifically said about this though. Enterprises are increasingly looking for ways to incorporate AI into their products and offerings and conversations are a massive data set where applying AI makes a ton of sense. So I totally agree with that. This is, I think, a massive, going to be a massive industry. Right now, Recall AI essentially allows companies to really quickly deploy different AI features without having to actually build and maintain their own infrastructure. And I think that's a huge thing, right? People can think of use cases, they can think of stuff to do, but maintaining your own infrastructure is pretty hard. Um, so its services are a lot like cloud computing platforms like AWS. Right now, I think they're compliant with a bunch of different regulations, including SOC 2 and GDPR, um, and they've grown their annual revenue to several million dollars. They have over 300 enterprise customers right now. So this is a huge company. Well, huge company. I mean, it's, an, it's doing very, very well. It's growing very quickly. 300 enterprise customers, millions of dollars a year. I'm really excited to see what Recall AI does in the future. If you learned anything from this podcast, if you enjoyed the episode, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe over on YouTube or leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or YouTube 
Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. I really appreciate it, but I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day.